This video shows you how to create this Pareto chart in Excel, where the line is a running total that extends from the top of the first bar with data labels that can be numbers or percentages. Excel has a Pareto chart type, but this chart type does not let us add data labels to the line. So this video will not use this chart type. Instead, we will use a combination chart to achieve our goal. So let's begin. Here is our data. First, sort the categories by the number of tickets from largest to smallest. Next, add three columns of data using formulas. First, a running total. I find it easier to write the formula for the running total on the second row. It is the sum of the first two values. Then we want to continue the sum to include the next value and the next value. It will always start with the first value, so let's add dollar signs to make the first cell an absolute reference. Copy and paste it to all the rows. Next, the percent of total. The number of tickets divided by the grand total. Add dollar signs because we will always divide by this total. Format as a percentage, copy and paste. This should sum to 100%. The cumulative percentage is a running total of the percentages. And again, I like to write a running total formula starting on the second row, equals, sum, open parenthesis, the first two values, close parenthesis, divided by the total. Add dollar signs to the first cell reference and the total. The final cumulative total percentage is of course 100%. Let's try creating the Pareto chart. Select only the first three columns, insert recommended charts, all charts, and scroll down to combo. The number of tickets is a clustered column the running total is a line, or you may prefer a line with markers. Do not check these boxes. All the data will be plotted on the same vertical axis. The line on the chart begins at the top of the first bar because the bars and line are both plotted on the same axis and start with the same value, 870. For me, this makes the graph easier to understand with everything on the same scale. Let's add data labels to show the running total. Select the line, click the plus sign next to the chart. Next to data labels, click on the small arrow. These numbers are the running total, but I want to express them as percentages. To do this, click the labels to select all of them. Back to the plus sign, data labels, more options. Now we have a formatting pane click on Label Options, click the box Value from Cells. This brings up a small window asking us what range we want to use. Select the cumulative percentages from 46% through 100%. On the Format pane, uncheck Value. So it shows only the cumulative percentage. In the legend, the line label says running total. We can change it by selecting the chart, go to chart design, select data. Under legend entries, click on running total, click edit, and type over cumulative percentage. And now the legend label matches the labels on the line. The bars are easier to format. Right mouse click on a bar, format data series, adjust the gap width. A Pareto chart often has no gap between the lines, but I prefer a small gap. While the bars are still selected, click this plus sign and add data labels. The Pareto chart is based on the 80-20 principle, so you may hear it mentioned in context with that. It states that 80% of problems will often occur from 20% of the possible causes. 
In our example, we have a similar situation. 78% of help desk tickets were generated by only two categories. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoy learning about working with data, please consider subscribing to this channel.